Hello and welcome. I am Supriya and you're watching Movie Mafia, brought to you by glammandu.com. Movie Mafia is all about movies. We bring to you trailer reactions, movie reviews and many more. So today we are here to talk about the new summer hit of Netflix which is none other than 365 days. This Polish erotica has been trending on number 1 in multiple countries. However, it is terribly problematic. The narrative is so dead set on celebrating the abusive relationship that it needs to be called out. Am I here? I want to get out now. Afraid this is impossible. In simple words, this erotic thriller fiction story which is adapted from the book by Blanka Lipinska is just the Polish version of 50 shades of grey. So it's a big no if you're watching it with a family and if you're watching alone don't forget to close the doors. You have 365 days. I do anything so you can fall in love with me. Just like any other movie that we have ever seen, this particular movie also have an Italian gangster, Massimo, who is so obsessed about a girl who he doesn't even know. And then that girl is Laura, a sales director who is so dissatisfied with her relationship. Co się wydarzyło na tej pierdolnej sycy? Już myślałam, że cię porwali. A czego zostawiłeś mnie samą w mojej rodzinie? The two lead actors are shown as smart, cunning and superior human beings who are adult enough to make their own decisions themselves. So, somehow, miracles happen, stars align and guess what? Laura encounters with Massimo at her 29th birthday. Cliche! After a brief blink and miss encounter, guess what Massimo says? Are you lost, baby girl? Are you lost, baby girl? Now, this very alpha male person who is Massimo drugs and kidnaps Laura. And guess what? Gives her 365 days to fall in love with her. That I'm not going anywhere. With some initial rejection aside and some awesome shopping, guess what? The seduction game starts. Are you serious? And then she goes to a club where she meets her ex and when they're arguing, guess who enters? Massimo! And guess what happens after Laura and Massimo meet? Sex! Until now, magically, Laura has fallen in love with Massimo and says, I don't need 365 days. And guess what Massimo says? Will you marry me? <laughs> And like every other story, it goes like And guess what happens at the end? It is shown as if Laura is dead And guess who kills? Anna, who only had three lines in the entire movie. But guess what? This is all forgiven because the directors have to sell it as a love story. So now let's get to the point why this movie is terribly problematic. So there are so many things wrong in the entire scenario but the main biggest narrative twist is that the directors believe that every single trigger here is okay because it is sexy as hell. Besides this, Massimo always says, always shouts out loud that he will never touch her without her permission. But guess what? While shouting it out loud as well, he is abusing her. But all these things are fine because the sellers want to sell it as a love story. And seriously, love story? Love story my foot. 
The entire idea of love story in this movie is that letting your girl watch some other girl that you bought give you a blow. The entire film presents you that you can impress a girl with money. No matter how bad Massimo does to her, everything is normal and fine if you have a chef who can prepare you a good dinner and a designer who comes to a yacht from nowhere and designs a gown for you. Seriously? The problem is here. The problem is that the movie balancedly normalizes the mafia world and I wouldn't be surprised if any girls or even men would come up and want to become like Laura and Massimo. The problem is that the movie only centralizes exoticness and doesn't make any sense besides that. The problem is with the scenes glorifying physical bondage and outrageous dialogues, 365 Days ends up romanticizing for sex and manipulation. If you have watched this movie, then please comment down how much rating would you give to this movie out of 10. And if you are not satisfied with our review, then you can comment down what you are dissatisfied with. And also, we can meet every Thursday at glammandu.com. If you liked our review and this video, then please like, share and subscribe and also mention what movie would you want us to review next. Thank you.